Hey guys, it's Villain here from Ravencrest. As you can see, I'm in the um, Caverns of Time, Culling of Strathholm. I'm doing the Bronze Straight Run. Uh, basically, uh, once you've started and Arthur's has done his little role playing, you have 25 minutes to complete the instance, kill all the bosses, to get the uh, Bronze Straight mount. So basically, when you start, um, you'll have 10 waves to do. If you look on the press M on the map, there'll be a little white flag, or you, you can even see it on the mini map. And there will be where the waves spawn. It's it's a fairly easy for any level 85. You should be able to do this. If not, then bring along a friend, and um, you'll do it easily with two people. After five waves, the first five waves is when the first boss will spawn, and he's called Meat Hook. He's a really easy boss. I mean, all the bosses are easy. You just burst them down quick. It'd be pretty simple. If anyone's played Warcraft 3, then you'll know what this instance is about. When Arthur's has to go purge the Strathholm. As you can see now, it will come up wave 5 meat hook spawned. As you'll go kill him quickly. There is also another um, achievement in this dungeon, and it's called Zombie Fest. You can probably get it if you're fast enough. You can get it in the same run. I didn't get it, unfortunately, on this run. But the tactic seems to be that once you get into the next section where the zombies are, you'll grab a pack of zombies there, and then pull them back into the first, first section, and pull the zombies there. And you have to kill 100 zombies within a minute. Um, I wasn't able to do it by just pulling one section of zombies I tried but I've done a bit of reading on Wowhead and in the comments that's what people were saying to do uh, if you're wondering the bronze drake is a 100% drop chance if you reach the end boss within the 25 minute period it's easily doable. I mean, as a feral druid, in um, not I haven't got very good gear. My item level is only three seven eight in my feral set, and I did it easily. I even DC'd at the beginning, so I only had twenty three minutes to do it, and I still did it. So it's it's really easy. It's a, at the end of the day, it's a free mount, a free epic mount. So you might as well get it done. Um, once you've reached uh, wave 10, another boss will spawn. He's he's obviously quite easy as well. You'll have no problem with the bosses. You just If you're a feral druid, just get into cat form, burst them down quick. If they give you any trouble, then pl play a bit more defensive, maybe if your gear's not so good. So once you've finished the waves, you'll, um, you'll go talk to Arthas and he'll do a bit of role playing, that's t generally the longest part of the instance because he just walks around slow and um, you have to kind of wait for the the mobs to spawn Th that's the bit where it kind of wastes a bit of time if he speeded up a bit it would have been easier but uh, um, something to help you with, just keep ke keep checking the map if you're lo a bit lost and you don't know where the waves are just open the map and you'll see them it's really easy I even, some people don't bother looting but I was doing, getting my enchanting up at the time so I even looting the corpses and disconnecting i still done it in time obviously some classes might find it a bit harder I, I found it really hard on my mage to do this probably because I was Spectre's Fire because I, um, I even died on one of the bosses <laughs> as my mage. I suppose um, it would be a lot easier to go Frost with a pet. A lot more survivability. As you can see the second boss has spawned. He's called Sal Ram the Flesh Crafter. You shouldn't have a problem with him, and once he's down, you run to this part here. You talk to Arthas, 
just go through the um, go through the talking you might still have a few zombies chasing you so once you've spoken to him just to kill him off just do some AOE they're really low health actually so you'll probably one hit them all see this is the part that I was talking about which can slow you down a bit where Arthur does a lot of talking and he walks around really slowly you just want to kill these guys off as quick as possible and he'll walk around you just follow Arthur's about um, he'll go upstairs and you'll fight the next boss you'll have these infinite agents just spawn out of a portal Arthur's does help you in the fight I believe but um, at level 85 you'll kill them so quickly that it really doesn't matter you do actually get a half decent amount of gold and items from these quests obviously you have to do this instance in heroic mode to get the achievement and to get the um, the bronze drake it should be no problem for a level 85 with you know starter gear just heal up at this point you've got to do one more um, little wave of infinite agents and then the boss will spawn this boss is called the um, chrono lord epoch <laughs> I've probably pronounced that wrong but forgive me if I have I have actually been having a problem with uploading my videos and I wonder if if someone watches this and they know how to fix it, if they could help me basically the um, with the black lines down the side uh, the first videos I started uploading I didn't have this problem but all of a sudden it seems to be a problem I did do a bit of research and um, people were saying to like type stuff in the tags like 16.9 about the aspect ratio and whatever but um, I do um, when I'm uh, edit my videos I do use widescreen 16.9 but uh, I still seem to get the box the black boxes I don't I honestly don't understand why so if anyone knows then please comment it would help me a lot so once you've killed this boss you need to talk to Arthur one more time and he'll lead you through the back door and you'll get to another section where there's loads of zombies and mobs and um, I just pulled all of them well, half, basically he'll go halfway through this section and then he'll take a little rest so I pulled the mobs till halfway, killed them off and then um, pulled the next half once Arthur started um, walking again If you see under that uh, sort of bridge, he stops and has a rest. So I suppose you could have like a mana break, uh, get your health full at that point. Just make sure you're prepared. If you see it, this if you um, see my uh, the achievement, even though I pulled that many zombies, I only got 58 out of 100 that's the reason why for the achievement you want to pull like that that lot of zombies plus go to the original section and pull them as well and then it should be easy to get the achievement once you've killed these mobs you'll get to Malganis and he'll do a bit of um, talking and you'll have a little fight This is he's simply a free mount at the end of the day. It don't look half bad. He's not exactly the best looking mount in the game. But um, for a free mount, it's easily accessible. And the fact that it's, it's got no luck involved, it's just a 100% drop chance. It's, um, I think every level 85, if you haven't already got it, you should go ahead and get it. Most people have probably got this mount by now. 
but if maybe you're new to Cataclysm or anything so you didn't have the chance to get it in Wrath of the Lich King then it's perfect for you to get it once you've hit 85 all of the bosses you can um, just go into cat form or go full out offensive because they don't hit very hard there's not really any need to stay defensive on the bosses so once you've killed Malganis there will be like a little chest next to him so you might as well loot that get the items and then you'll run back and um, into the last section you're in and go right instead of left so instead of the way you come and you'll see this infinite corruptor and you want to kill him as quick as possible because this is the guy who um, actually drops the mount but he will, he will only drop the mount if you get there within the 25 minutes so he's easy as well so um, you'll have no problem with him there we go we got the mount I hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did please thumbs up I hope you get the mount yourselves um, please subscribe because I release videos a lot and I'll see you later guys keep gaming bye